Analyzing Business Markets Chapter 7. Businesses Sell Goods and Services, with 7.4 million U.S. businesses employing people in 2010. Cisco, in order to succeed, needs to understand the needs, resources, policies, and buying procedures of these organizations. Business marketers must consider special factors when selling to other businesses. This chapter compares and contrasts business market marketing. Business marketers encounter distinct challenges alongside general marketing principles. In organizational buying, formal groups figure out what they need, compare their options, and choose brands and suppliers. Businesses buy goods and services to make things, sell them, rent them out, or supply them. Aerospace, agriculture, chemicals, computers, construction, defense, energy, mining, manufacturing, transportation, communication, utilities, banking, finance, insurance, distribution, and services are some of the most important business sectors. To avoid becoming a commodity, business-to-business -business marketers must find ways to set their products apart and highlight their unique benefits. The main problems with business-to-business -business, B2B, marketing, according to the Institute for the Study of Business Markets ISBM, are 1. Making the link between marketing and sales stronger 2. Making it easier for marketing and innovation to work together and 3. Making better use of detailed customer and market knowledge Four additional imperatives cited by ISBM are 1. Demonstrating marketing's contribution to business performance 2. Engaging more deeply with customers and customers' customers Step 3. Finding the right mix of centralized versus decentralized marketing activities and 4. Finding and grooming marketing talent and competencies Learn about customers in the market, show how marketing contributes to performance, interact with customers and their customers Find a balance between centralized and decentralized marketing activities. And develop marketing talent and skills. The markets for consumers and businesses are different in many ways. In business markets, like those for airplane engines and weapons for the military, there are fewer but bigger buyers. Goodyear and Cummins depend on big contracts from a small number of automakers. In business markets, close relationships between suppliers and customers are important and often lead to products that are made just for the customer. PPG Industries gives awards to its best suppliers. Businesses like to do business with suppliers who also buy from them. Buying agents stick to the rules set by the company, and business buyers use quotes and proposals. Major purchases are made with the help of technical experts, senior management, and buying committees. For buyers who know what they want, salespeople must be well trained. Industrial sales require a lot of time and a lot of calls. Marketers need to keep an eye on how people buy things, since that's what drives business demand. Most of the time, price changes don't affect the demand for business goods. The acceleration effect has an effect on changes in business demand. Business buyers are mostly in seven states, which lowers the cost of selling. In the auto business, regional changes mean that marketers must change with them. Complex and expensive items are often bought straight from the manufacturer. There are three kinds of buying situations, a straight rebuy, a modified rebuy, and a new task. There are different marketing plans for each of the following stages, awareness, interest, evaluation, trial, and adoption. Successful business marketers pay attention to building relationships, giving technical information, and helping customers through complicated buying processes. Business buying involves multiple parties, with other employees being more important in new buy situations than purchasing agents. The buying center is the decision-making unit of a buying organization, consisting of users, influencers, decision-makers, approvers, buyers, and gatekeepers. These participants influence the buying process in various ways. Buying centers have diverse interests, authority, status, persuasion, and decision criteria. Factors such as age, income, education, job, personality, risk attitudes, and culture impact buying motivations, perceptions, and preferences. Organizations make purchasing decisions based on their needs and opinions. Industrial purchases encompass both rational and emotional elements. Successful business-to-business -business marketing requires identifying the right companies and understanding their buying centers. This involves recognizing growth prospects, profitable customers, and promising opportunities.
Small and mid-sized businesses present new possibilities due to limitations in large corporations' purchasing departments. Small sellers focus on influential buyers, while larger sellers engage in comprehensive selling to reach a broader range of buyers. Communication programs are vital for reaching hidden influencers and keeping customers informed. Assumptions about buying center participants should be regularly reassessed. Ethnographic research on customers and industries can inform sales strategies. Considering end users can lead to improvements in products and business models for business marketers. Understanding the needs of customers customers adds value and opens new avenues. Xsense, for example, enhanced its motion sensor technology by solving its customers customers problems. To succeed in business to business marketing, it is crucial to target the right firms, comprehend the dynamics of buying centers, and adapt strategies according to the different participants involved. The ratio of benefits to costs is important to business buyers. Marketers need to point out what's good about a product. Companies have made purchasing managers more important and set up strategic departments to build relationships with suppliers based on value. Rio Tinto and Medline Industries were both successful because they used e-commerce and integrated their software. To meet the needs of modern buyers, sales staff needs to be updated. McDonald's gives priority to minority suppliers, which shows that they are becoming more important. The Buy Grid framework shows the different steps that need to be taken when a business buys something. These steps change depending on what is being bought. Some steps may be skipped or shortened in some situations. Problems can be seen because of things inside or outside of the person. Engineers and users may be able to help figure out what the item is and how much of it there is. The buying organization then comes up with technical specifications to cut costs. This analysis can help suppliers position themselves well. Buyers use things like directories, contacts, ads, trade shows, and online platforms to find suppliers. There are many different ways to shop online, such as through catalogs, auctions, markets, exchanges, barter, and alliances. It saves money, speeds up work, and makes relationships stronger. Hubs, links, alliances, and company sites are all used in e-procurement. To choose a supplier, you have to look at attributes and use models. To get leads, marketing and sales have to work together. It is very important to understand customer value assessments. In different buying situations, things like delivery reliability, price, reputation, flexibility, and reliability are more important than others. Despite efforts to improve sourcing and partnerships, buyers still spend a lot of time negotiating prices with suppliers. Marketers can respond to requests for prices by pointing out the total cost of ownership and how their services are better. Differentiating suppliers can be done through service support, personal interactions, and knowledge. Price pressures can be eased by increasing productivity and coming up with new solutions. Some companies deal with buyers who are only interested in price by offering lower prices with strict rules. Risk sharing and profit sharing arrangements can make up for price cuts. There is a trend toward having fewer suppliers and closer relationships with those that remain. After choosing suppliers, buyers negotiate final orders, think about leasing options, and make long-term contracts. The buying process is made easier with blanket contracts and vendor-managed inventory. Performance reviews look at how well suppliers do their jobs, and when purchasing managers do a good job, companies often give them a bonus. Business-to-business -business marketers use a wide range of tools to find and keep customers. They focus on selling systems, adding valuable services, customer reference programs, and a wide range of communication and branding activities that can be done online and offline. Firms like Chapman Kelly, Emerson Process Management, Machino, and Canaxis use web redesign, search engine optimization, social media engagement, webinars, and content marketing. There is a lot of talk about how important customer reference programs are as a marketing tool. Systems buying, in which people prefer to buy complete solutions from a single seller, is becoming more popular. To meet this demand, sellers have turned to system selling and are now offering turnkey solutions. In this case, a supplier gives the buyer MRO supplies and manages the buyer's inventory. Services are important because they help businesses build stronger relationships with customers and make more money. Rolls-Royce offers long-term maintenance contracts, while companies like Adobe Systems bundle services with cloud-based subscriptions.
Value-added services like installation and maintenance help companies like Mondo win customers in markets where there is a lot of competition. Relationships between businesses and their customers are managed in different ways, such as through supply chain management, early supplier involvement, and purchasing alliances. Companies are moving away from general marketing strategies and focusing on one-to-one -one marketing to attract and keep customers. People say that buyers and sellers should work together to create value and build trust. Relationships between buyers and sellers can be put into groups based on competition, cooperation, and trust levels. Investments that are tailored to a company in a partner and its value chain help companies grow, but they also come with risks. Cheating or not giving enough can be forms of opportunism that hurt relationships and require resources to control and monitor. Joint ventures and good reputations can stop people from taking advantage of each other and help them both. Government and institutional markets buy in different ways. Those in charge of buying for schools and hospitals try to find quality vendors that fit within their budgets. Quality and reputation can affect who gets government contracts. Public scrutiny and paperwork control how the government spends money. Despite problems, government is a big customer, especially in the US. To sell to the government, you need to understand its needs, priorities, and buying habits. Online purchasing is becoming popular. In these markets, companies that can predict what the government will want, make sure they have the right products, and talk to the government well will do best. Thanks for watching.